<laughs> I was so when we first met in my apartment. How old was I there? You had to be 10. Probably. One of the things that seems to be a thread for me throughout my life is I like to work with people. And I thought it would be a really cool thing to mentor a child. It was an overwhelming commitment even back then. Right, a lot of responsibility to take on a child that I didn't know, but I had the time to give and I guess the desire to do it. So when I was six, my parents got divorced and my younger sister and I both had pals and I think probably my mom just wanted a break. <laughs> when I was little, it was mostly just like more attention. But then as I got older, like high school and college, I could talk to her about stuff that I didn't really feel comfortable talking to another adult about, and she had already been through that. I did feel some responsibility to be a good role model. I tried to impart good advice and wisdom <laughs> and things that I, you know, always wish somebody had told me and things that, you know, even if my mother would have told me, I wouldn't have listened because she's my mom. You know, that maybe she would listen to me because, and I still do try oh, yeah. to be that person for her. We've just continued on and moved from doing kid things to adult things. I love this one. Too. Me too. That was really fun. That was really fun. That's a great picture. It's affected me tremendously. Um, Tali has truly become a part of my family. It's not just that she's my pal, but she talks to both of my kids without me being involved. She is truly just a member of the family. And so, I mean, we talk like at least once a day. At least one, we text. <laughs> we text all day. All day, every yeah, day. Every day, so, <laughs> I mean, we just, we're so much part of our lives now. It wasn't ever like a decision. It has been a gift for me to be part of the PAL program, uh, even more so now that she's an adult and we can communicate like adults and talk about adult subjects and truly have things in common. So for me, I feel like I've gotten so much more from the program than I ever gave to it. Because of my experience with PAL, I chose to be involved with JFNCS. And one of the great things about Alyssa is that she always encourages volunteering and meeting new people. Um, so for me, it was a natural fit. And this year, I am the silent auction co-chair for the tasting, which is an event where you get to taste a bunch of food and wine. Um, and it benefits an independent living program for adults with disabilities. So it's a great cause and really fun. So it was, for me, like a very easy choice. I've always kind of been involved with JFNCS for all of my adult life. So when I had kids, I kind of took a break from volunteering, etc. And, you know, life got in the way. And at some point, I realized I needed something in my life. What really struck me at that time was the Ben Massell Dental Clinic. So for about the last three years, I am there once a week, and it's my happy place. It's the best thing I do with my week, and I love it there. JF and CS is special because they help the entire community, no matter who it is that needs the help.